have seen some pretty good rain totals out of the system. Yeah, not so much right here today, though. Not right here in town today. Yeah. That was a little bit further south, the heaviest rain, but over the past two days, yeah. some pretty significant rain totals. And this is good because we need this desperately. Yep. Out over the hill country, this is what we saw. Most areas of between one and two inches with isolated totals as you get closer to the metro area, even higher. Burn it over four inches there, more than four and a half near the Johnson City region. Spicewood Blanco up over three inches into the metro area. This is where really the heaviest rain fell both yesterday and today. By the way, these rainfall totals uh, stretch past the past 48 hours. Lake Austin, four and three quarters inches of rain. East Austin, about four and a half inches of rain falling there. Some of the highest totals. Uh, since yesterday and to the east a dramatic drop in the rainfall totals the heaviest rain definitely out over the metro region a bass drop at just over a quarter of an inch and just a tenth of an inch falling at LaGrange. Now because our ground is pretty saturated now because of this rain, any additional rain we see overnight could lead to more flash flooding. So we have the flash flood watch in effect through 8 a.m. tomorrow morning and there is the potential for one or two more storms to develop overnight tonight and then wrap up by tomorrow morning. Currently, though, the radar is very quiet. We're not tracking anything at this hour that we have to worry about. It's a more after midnight time frame where we could see that shower storm developing again. The reason, of course, is we have yet another little disturbance set to roll across the southern half of the state up into the northeastern corner by tomorrow morning. And that little disturbance combined with a lot of moisture still here at the surface and those very saturated soils have led to that watch. And we also have the spotty rainfall totals from this system that could spark in some of the heaviest downpours overnight, maybe an additional two to four, most areas between one and two in some of those heavier storms. So let's go hour by hour through the forecast. I'm going to pull up our forecast model here, our new high resolution model. And uh, these are morning for you. They're having a little bit of trouble with this system. They've been having trouble for a couple days now getting a real good handle on how this is all going to work. So overnight tonight, when I put this in motion, you see kind of some streamer showers developing here. I think some of this could be some heavier downpours from time to time. And as they move over the same areas over and over again, that's when we really start to watch for that potential of flooding. Through the afternoon on your Sunday, things begin to dry out a little bit. We'll keep a 20% chance for an isolated shower in the mix, but I think most of us will start to see a little more sunshine by tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, and definitely into your Memorial Day. Let's talk conditions right now. Mostly cloudy skies, 75 degrees at Camp Mabry, 76 out there at the airport. To dew points in the low 70s, a lot of moisture to work with still. And our winds out of the south and east, right between 5 and 10 miles an hour. In the hill country, temperatures range from the low to mid 70s. Pretty much the case as you head east too. a few upper 70s from Giddings down to Flatonia. Tonight, we will only drop a couple degrees down into the upper 60s in the hill country, low 70s in the metro and eastern counties. And for tomorrow, you're looking at highs in the upper 80s to the north and possibly a few low 90s if we see more sunshine during the afternoon. So in Austin tonight, let's go 69 degrees. Possibility is there for a shower or storm that will wrap up by tomorrow morning and hopefully by tomorrow afternoon we'll see a little more sunshine. Let's go 89 degrees for your Sunday. Memorial Day definitely drier, partly sunny by the afternoon, 90, and we'll see those 90s sticking around for much of the week with another chance for rain Wednesday and Thursday.